The force per meter between the two wires of a jumper cable being used to start a stalled car is 0.225 newtons per meter, letter A. What is the current in the wires given they are separated by uh, two centimeters? All right, so um, uh, basically what we have to do here is um, we have to be able to find the current, okay? And they're giving us force per meter and all this stuff, so we might have to do a couple of substitutions, let's see, all right? So we know that the force uh, acting on a wire is going to be equal to the current flowing through the wire times the length of the wire times the magnetic field that is affecting the wire times the sine of then the angle between the magnetic field and the direction of the uh, current. Okay. Now, it says, it only tells us their separation, right? Well, first of all, it gives us a Newton or a force per meter. So if you notice here in the formula, the only value that has meter in it is going to be the length. So basically, divide out the length from both sides, and you realize now what they gave us is this piece, okay? So that is known. That's going to be the 0.225. Now, all they, the only thing they gave us now is just the separation between them, right? And that doesn't come up here at all. Um, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to do a substitution. In other words, uh, check out number 50, okay? Because the concept is presented in number 50. Um, but what we have to do now is we have to do a substitution. It'll make sense if you watch that. So what we have to do is a substitution, and we have to substitute this formula in here because this formula talks about the magnetic field produced by one of the wires. So it's now going to be force over length is equal to the current multiplied now by the permeability of free space, mu sub O, times the current, all divided by then 2 pi times the distance between the wires, which is R, then multiplied by sine of theta. They don't tell me anything, by the way, about the angle, so I'll assume it's 90, so basically this will just go to 1. So that can cancel. Now if you notice in this formula, right, it's just going to be I squared there, so this now becomes I squared uh, times the permittivity of free space, uh, excuse me, permeability of free space divided by 2 pi times our R value. The permeability of free space is simply 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7th. And if you notice, the pi's would cancel here. So see you later. So you can actually simplify this formula if you wanted. The 2 goes away, the 4 can become a 2 now, right? So there's a couple of things you can do. So finally, this formula would be the force per length is going to be equal to 2i squared, basically, times 10 to the minus 7th, all then divided by the distance between them. So what do we need to find? We need to find the current, right? So we're going to divide everything on out, okay? So you're just going to cross multiply. Bring the two on down, look just like that. Bring the distance between them on up, so it's all that. And then times 10 to the minus 7th, you're going to bring that on down into the denominator. So just to make that look nice, let's move the L on over. And it's going to be 2 times 10 to the minus 7th, right? Doesn't that look nice now? Now that leaves you with I squared, but you don't want to know I squared. You want to know I, so you got to square root everything, okay? And that's it. Now, we kind of lost track a little bit, but... The force per length, that's that's one variable, okay? So I'm going to highlight that because that's one number. All right, so now let's calculate. So I will equal now the square root of, let's say, the force per length, which was 0.225, times now the uh, distance between them, which they told you in centimeters, but we need that in meters, so 0 0.02, then divided now by 2 times 10 to the minus 7th. Okay, so you can put this all over 2 times 10 to the minus 7th, if you like. And what do we get? Let's see, square root of 0.225 times 0 0.02, divided then by 2 times 10 to the minus 7th, you get about 150. Okay, so the current here is going to be about 150, not newtons, because that's force, amps, and that's that. Is the force attractive or repulsive? Oh, sorry, okay, um, it is repulsive. Uh, the way the cables work is, you know, goes in one direction, goes through the car's battery, then it comes out the other. And so anytime that they're oppositely facing, they're going to be repulsive. All right. Why is that the case? Went through it in detail in number 50. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Appreciate it. Please help us out and subscribe. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Awesome sauce. Take care.